Headed on to the bye week, which obviously has zero effect on us. Coming off a very close game against the Rams, who we've really not struggled with in this entire series, let alone this season. So that was an interesting kind of turnaround game that I just didn't expect. Of course, speaking of turning around, this season has really turned around in a good way. We are on some win streak right now. Of course, the Niners a little bit on a losing streak. Rams obviously on a losing streak. And the Cardinals staying afloat at 6-4. and four. But let's head on to the bye week. Obviously, we have to do our weekly training. Want to make sure we get as much XP as we can. Oh, I don't remember clicking on one of these. And I'm pretty sure it's because it's bad. Coach, you're in second place. You're in division. Getting some time off this week with the bye. Any special plans for the week off? Stay grinding, get some XP, but lure, loser, lure, lose stamina, get some awareness, but lose stamina, get some morale, but lose awareness. What the hell? Um, I'm probably going to say, bro, you lose no matter what. Is it going to just choose self-scouting, awareness, minus stamina? I think team bonding. I don't think anyone does that. Like, I'd be really pissed if my coach was like, hey... You know that time you thought you were going to spend with your family? We're actually going to go on some dumbass bonding retreat. Could do some bondage at the retreat. Uh, and we're all going to hate each other afterwards. <laughs> players are having a tough time getting back into the swing of things. Following the time off. Negative five awareness for all players. <laughs> players are having a hard time finding uh, happiness because they were stuck with each other for a week instead of their families and doing what they actually wanted. Uh, okay, let's skip this. This is interesting. Do the training, whatever, who cares? And a trench boost. I don't, honestly, speaking of the bye week thing, I don't remember ever actually having a trench boost and playing with it. Uh, that's weird to say, but huge day on the ground for you in the last win. These guys up front really went to work, and you have to be pretty proud of the way they performed. Uh, the amount of yards, depending... What... So, like, if I break the rushing record, am I going to get, like, unlimited XP? Like, they don't even give me any sort of knowledge, really. Uh, we'll do that strategy in a sec. Let's take a look at the players of the week. Obviously, maybe we had one we kind of skipped through really quickly. So, let's take a look in week 12. Uh, nothing of the sort in week 13. Uh, some interesting numbers, but obviously didn't have a game. So, not going to get one on that week. In case you're new to the series, maybe you haven't checked in in a while, this is what the team is looking like. Of course, Greer, a superstar rookie quarterback. Hikaru, nowhere to be found. Lots of people are thinking, yay, that's awesome. Uh, looking at the rest of the defense, or the team on the defensive side of the ball, a very good-looking squad. Obviously, a bunch of uh, superstars and whatnot, but I have mentioned, and I think it's fair to note that we probably will put regression on, dev regression, as it is pretty dumb that guys like Ed Oliver and Mafe are going to stay as superstars when they really haven't. Well, specifically Davenport. Ed Oliver at times is decent, but he's always injured. You know, why would you stay as a superstar plus if you really haven't earned it? You know, I'm just, I'm just saying. I think it would add a little bit to the league as well. And, you know, there's other teams around the league that have players that are similar to that. You know, we've seen uh, some quarterbacks that are like superstar X-Factor and they're having like one-to-one -one touchdown to pick ratio seasons. Uh, but let's take a look at the injuries on our team, which of course are none. Finally, love it. And then the opposing team, Joss Uche and Trent Brown. We take that. That is not bad. And obviously we want to take a quick look at the team because we just don't know what they might have done in the offseason. Quarterback, no one. Okay, Mac Jones... Their power is still 86, but insanely accurate. Running back, Damian Harris, uh, very good. He's like uh, like a quote-unquote younger Leonard Fournette. You know, not by a whole lot, but looks like a Leonard Fournette to me. And then wide receiver has just not improved here. It really hasn't. Got a couple of Rosses on the team. Chapman looks promising, but he's super short. Where the hell did Tyquan Thornton go? No one knows. Tight ends are still here, though, which is interesting. Who's this? Who's this? Melvin Walker, the best tight end on their team, and he's third on the list. Nice. Uh, left tackle looks great. Left guard looks okay. Center looks really good. Right guard looks really good. And then right tackle looks solid. Uh, once again, they have Trent Brown injured, yet they have Mitchell Berger or Berger 
looking pretty good as a rookie. I'm not really sure this team's draft plan. Maybe at some point, you know, you realize, hey, Brady kind of left us because he had no receivers. Now he's gone and we still don't have any receivers. Cornerbacks, you know, they got some t- you know, potential, I guess. Jabril and Duggar, they're okay. I mean, it's a team that's like, you know, kind of mid to above mid. They have just enough talent to win a game, but, you know, when they lose, you're like, well, I mean, I kind of expected it. Kind of focusing on the ground game, both sides of the ball. Got a couple of <laughs> upgrades, so long intro is long. I mean, I suppose while you're listening to the intro, you could just scroll down there, maybe leave a like, maybe subscribe if you're new. I'm just saying, those things are possible. People are like, nah, maybe not. Wow, okay, so four awareness is super great. An ability slot, though, Stonewall. Defenders with this ability will frequently prevent additional yardage gains while tackling. Now, I'm not exactly sure how I want to do abilities because normally I do like to just let it happen. But at the same time, we know abilities are key. I think we probably would do a... Similar to what we do in our... uh, Vikings League, probably just do a reroll. Do we wait until maybe he's a little bit higher, or is that actually... Oh, yeah, you can get Edge Threat at 90, which is boosted. Very good. Lurker at 90. So maybe 90, we do a reroll, and, uh, you know, whatever he gets, he gets. Because I don't want to just put the best abilities on, because then I'd pretty much have to do that for the rest of the league, and that sounds like a problem. Of course, Kendrick Patterson really got the uh, the attention on this team this season, but I will say his ratings still look really bad. Whatever can get us catching, I think, is the best idea. Slot upgrade, even though he is far from a slot receiver in a good way, in fairness. Uh, one catching gets him to 80. Short route and a medium route. Got to get those ratings up, man. It is. I mean, I've uh, increased the XP sliders quite a bit, and it's still kind of like meh. Of course, Field General, I think, is going to be the best bet here as we need medium and short or deep accuracy, actually. We going to get that? And no, we, I I messed it up. I said short. They, they were like, yo, you want that? Okay, here you go. It's like, no, 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 wait one second. But Ed Money, the guy that we ended up trading uh, Hikaru for, realistically, not a bad player. We haven't really seen too much of him, but he's obviously still a little bit on the raw side, but not bad. And we talked about it being cold, but no snow in this one. Of course, in alternate jersey game, though, Mac Jones playing actually really well. Uh, which is not really surprising per se, but the touchdowns are a lot higher than I would have thought, to be honest. He's looking like uh, kind of a top five, top ten quarterback in the league with those numbers, it seems. Of course, the Jets flying over. It would have been kind of cool to see some snow, but they would have the ultimate advantage in that situation. You know, they got a power back, and they're used to it. We've got a Kenneth Walker, though, so I suppose maybe not so much. And let's hop right into it. There's not much more to talk about. It's a team that's a little, you know, weirder than I would have thought. You know, I would have, you know, pegged this team for a good run team, good run defense team. But they're actually just full on pass. Really good at pass defense. Really good at uh, passing in general. Alexander get a nice play on the special teams. And I suppose with that knowledge, we're going to try to be the ones that can run the ball, especially with that Trent boost scenario it's not the biggest thing in the world but a 10k boost if we got it for the o-line would be pretty big you know we got a lot of young offense alignment so 10k is basically an upgrade for the majority of them which is obviously you know a big upgrade to the outside and not a great play by woolen who not only gets burned but hesitates and gets you know gives up another like four or five yards to hunter henry uh of course we definitely let johnny go but didn't find him so didn't really matter. Kind of out of the dime look. They seem to be uh, a little more predictably passing if they're going to be. And yeah, that's a pretty good sit down. And so is that, but dropped, believe it or not, on that left side. And good D is that will force an incompletion. Just barely. In fairness, I definitely thought that was going to be another first down. And Oliver getting handled. So is everyone off the edge. And there goes a huge run from Damian. Huge hit by Diggs to the 35. A 30-yard run on the very first try. Like I said, I kind of pegged them for a team that would be better at running the ball. Their stats don't show up, but hey, by the end of this one, maybe they will. That was about as clean of a stretch as you're going to see. When you're really into yoga. Inside hit for Alexander. A two-yard run for Stevenson, who apparently has not really developed because obviously he is still... Kind of buried on the roster a little bit. 
And to the outside, Adams. Oh, knocks the ball out. Of course, this is a pretty inexperienced... Well, I mean, they have experience, but not a very good wide receiving unit. And, I mean, that's kind of showing early on with huge missed opportunities on some drops. Red just goes the wrong way. Hardcore. And Brooks, with the help of Alexander, will stop him short. Do you go for this if you're them? I think you do. And with the way they're lined up, I think they are. They kind of look like they're just going to run it. Don't want to run commit, but we're basically, you know, ready for it. And the fullback. Wow. Okay, I mean, we got a decent push there. It's just the fullback became the push. <laughs> he is the push. Of course, we have uh, Mafi in coverage. You know, some athleticism there. And Oliver getting locked up. And Alexander's way too slow. Oh, my. Way too slow on the play. And <laughs> Wolin sounds like swollen, those ankles at least. Holy. Get to the outside. Alexander doing a pretty good job. And once again, another broken tackle. And Wosu tackles him, but yet another first down. Wolin's kind of getting those ankles snappified right now. And it's not particularly my favorite thing to say and Adams gets broken off but teamwork equals zero yards wow look at that game on the bottom and a huge matchup too Green Bay giving themselves a better chance and Minnesota probably losing their chance entirely at the playoffs with that loss huge battle between the division rivals off a really good push to the outside and Woolen's gonna get a pick don't go out and because of the good tackling of that wide receiver, he saves us like 19 yards and potentially maybe even a punt. Wollen with another interception in his young career. The man is off to a historic rate and just catches it right in front of Parker in the end, back of the end zone. Now it's our time to show what we can do. A quarterback I can be proud of. 15 touchdowns, 6 interceptions, 2,383 yards. Accuracy is pretty good. Normally you kind of run this. Yeah, we'll run the play action. Should we just run it, run it? Let's run it, let's run it. To the outside, and pretty good blocks. Kenneth inside, nice little slip. Gains about nine almost. We said we wanted to run the damn ball. We're gonna run the damn ball. Second and two, run up the middle, and fullback kind of sells. Wow, there was a big lane to the left. I need to think bigger sometimes. You know, it's two yards on second and two. We don't really need the first down that bad. Gotta look for all options. Whatever's gonna get you the most yards on that. And that is a dot. And Fant's going to find a lot of room on the extras. Two Patriots players kind of run into each other. First throw is a 20-yarder. It's weird because it was underthrown, but because it was underthrown, it was actually a better play than if it was right on the money, to be honest, in my opinion. First and 10 throw. Fant outside. You know, we kind of kind of played a little bit safer there. You know, it's one thing to try and run for extra yards another thing to play a risky pass that you don't need to when you have the first down lined up going for shorter plays here can Kenneth bail it or not bail it but that's a late throw Fant will get the first down though Kenneth failed to kind of like get the opening I was looking for Ooh, Kenneth gets it though and will gain about nine and a half that DB kind of looked lost it's like he didn't expect the ball to be close to be an intercepted, and he was like, oh, I could actually pick that, and then he just fell asleep. Oh, when they gave us the first down there, I kind of came out thinking this was inches, but we'll still run it. Oh, there goes Kenneth to the outside, stiff arm. Wow, Duggar actually kind of looked faster. I thought the way we broke out of that, that we were going to score a touchdown, but he's, he denied that. We're at the 12 only. Still a nice little run, great blocking, and their weak front is definitely showing up early in this one like you know what i mean like showing damn it <laughs> doesn't make any sense is that a linebacker on thornton we go to the fullback here Riggs trying to truck i mean kind of does gains about eight going heavy that linebacker is in our face but so is the blockers we gain a yard i really really wish we had a freaking touch pass or something like that but I don't think we do in this playbook. And to the outside, Kenneth will use that speed and get the touchdown. A huge play there. Great blocks. Just enough for Kenneth to show off that speed and get the job done. Good play. Touchdown. That's a pretty solid first drive. Of course, they had a really good drive too, but they threw an interception, which, I mean, we're known to take the ball away. And that is a huge play by Red, and he's fighting that, which 
questionable decision. You know, Red's one kind of downfall is that he's not the greatest tackler, but, I mean, you get beat by like that on the line. You're not going to make anything happen out of it. There goes Damien breaking off a tackle, but luckily our friend the out-of-bounds line came in. We got Red on the D-line. Third and 19. Can't get in there, and there is no one on the inside. Diggs and uh, Sidney Jones on the tackle there, but that is a huge first down. Like, a lot of yards and on top of it, you know, a first down, obviously. It's third and nine. It's not an easy conversion, and they sure as hell made it look easy. Look into the stats. They slightly have us beat, but we have the score. Also, wasn't that man coverage? Hold up, what? I was like, can we digs out there? I know we're trying to disguise it, but we're not going to disguise anything when we give up. Oh, oh, he just breaks off the tackle. Okay, I'm sure of it. And we give up the touchdown. Johnson with a nice 10-yarder. Almost said incher. That would have been uh, for a different conversation, different day. Different situation entirely. Brooks locked up. That's some nice zone blocking there, and they get five. Well, I say zone blocking. I don't actually know if it was zone blocking, but it's good blocking, I suppose. Galen Barnes, just blitz him. We're not going to blitz him now. And Galen Barnes, that's perfect coverage. That could be a coverage sack. Oh, I kind of left it. Oh, I seen him throw over. I thought the receiver was going to go upfield. He didn't, though, and it's okay. Nice throw away. Don't really want to blitz on this play. Oh, right to where I just was. I actually thought that was going to be an out route, though, so that's why I went to the left and... Great find. Of course, red all over it. No dice, though. Well, I mean, I suppose he hit the quarterback. That's that's some dice. It's like, it's like a medium-level dicing. Red can't get off the block to the inside. Woolen tries to punch it out. Can't. Slips off. Gains nine near first. Right, Adams, you got to contain this run inside. Oh, wow. There you go. Alexander, really good play, but sadly a first down. Their run game, like I said, has been not bad, of course. Statistically, yards per carry-wise, it has dropped tremendously since that huge run. I literally... Okay, it's... No, oh, can I see you got a touchdown? I was going to say, uh, there was a guy running to the left. I had it lined up, and at the snap, he re-centered himself and gave up the angle. Could have been a touchdown if he just threw it to Johnny over there. I mean, Adams left him, but didn't see it. Not that he needed to, as Parker gets the touchdown anyways. Have not really seen Caldwell, but that's... Okay. You know... What's a what's a return anyway? Where are you, buddy? <laughs> buddy, pal? <laughs> Do you mind? Metcalf in the corner. They actually cover that pretty well. Patterson can't get to it under pressure. It was apparently good throw. I don't particularly agree, but if you say so. And no runs. Going to lead to a third and ten. And that's a tough one. A good try by Moore. I felt like that was my look. Three and out with a not a single yard or second use, pretty much. I think uh, Metcalf may have been open on the break, but that's just not my primary route on that. We'll say either is the wheel. In fairness, kind of you know, kind of forced into an earlier throw than I wanted to as the, the pressure got there. But the running back picked it up, so we'd have been a little more patient, maybe stepped out a little bit, might have had ourselves a chance to extend that play, but instead, the game's basically back at square one as Adams gets trucked over by Damian Harris, who is, I mean, maybe not yards-wise looking super great, but has shown that he is a hard man to tackle. As one-on-one, -on -one, there goes with a stiff arm, digs with a shot to the knees. That's what you got to do. When it's a big dude like that, you just got to kill his knees and make him a wheelchair guy. All right, third and ten. Oh, who do we have to cover? Over the middle. Oh, he took the running back. He may have had Hunter Henry for the first down, played it too shallow, and will be forced to punt. Both offenses, you know, moving up and down the field pretty nicely, and then both offenses with the three and out. Football is a weird sport, all right? Let's just, let's just leave it at that. Good block by... Uh, Kobe and Caldwell trying to show off that speed. Kind of gets nothing. Oh, they're showing no fan. What the hell? No fan's not a running back. These guys always show the running backs. Let's just run it left. This looks pretty good, actually. And no one off the edge blocking. We lose. Well, gain a yard, apparently. Wow, nice. Could be mid, but I do like the play action here. Pretty good blocking, actually. Fant. You cannot miss that bad, Greer. 
I am sorry, but that's not allowed. How the hell is he going to be missing that badly? And I don't care if they're bringing the house. I'd rather have the extra rusher. Or receiver, anyways. Greer can't get out of there. And, I mean, maybe you have more on that left, that out, that out route. But I didn't think anyone was open. I looked back at it, and I can concur. There was not a soul open, sadly. And Oliver get in there. Oh, my God. Well, one's kind of getting cooked up by Parker. I know he has that pick, but, you know, if Mac Jones doesn't throw that late, who knows? Maybe we don't even have that. Parker, of all people. Devontae Parker. The one that is getting the beat on Woolen. Of all the players Woolen has played, and Red is just an animal. I mean, I've usered everyone on this D-line, and no one is as good as him. And we know the irony of that, because he is statistically the worst. And overall, or dev-wise, is the worst. But, I mean, look at him. It's just probably because... Oh, come on. Good tackle, Alexander. He slipped away, but gained literally nothing off this tackle break, which is strange. Third and inches with the stacked... Oh, my. If they throw this streak, and he gets open... The stack run defense, and wow, John, who just came up with a crazy, crazy catch. It's perfect coverage across the board. I mean, there's nothing else to say about it. And I think they're playing to their strengths here a little bit, realizing, hey, why should we be forcing anything when they're the ones that should be worried about the clock? And we kind of are a little bit, but I'm not going to force anything crazy and, you know, try to get the ball back, rush the play, and, you know, instead of being down by like three or seven and a half, it's, you know, two possessioner. Come on, Davenport. Can't get off the tackle. And, oh, we just missed hard with Woolen, but really big play down to the 19. This Patriots team is moving. The blocks have been great. Something's got to give. Might have to blitz a little bit more. Playing kind of conservatively on defense. Red. Nice move. Oh. In Wosu, put your hands up. Touchdown, Hunter Henry. I thought we had a pick. I will say, as soon as I realized it was in Wosu, I was like, maybe not so much, but switch me to the wrong guy and touchdown Hunter Henry. But I suppose it's not the most egregiously bad play we've had this season. Patriots leading in this one. Of course, they did get the ball first, so you kind of would expect them to lead. Uh, as Caldwell will get us to the 26, 27. But regardless of what they're doing, we have to be better on offense. Offense has been bad. Inside to Metcalf, who just jumps into the play. Let's hurry up. Kind of want to save that three timeout look unless we absolutely have to use it. Patterson's pretty open. He's never the guy to beat the straight line, and he's in. 61 yard touchdown. Maybe we caught him just slacking, not ready for it. And that is how you answer back. Of all the people, though, I've seen other players open, but off that line, I was like. Patterson's got him. There's no safety. I mean, there was a safety, but, you know, after the snap, there wasn't. And we took advantage of that man. No safety help. I would imagine that's Patterson's, like, longest play of his career, right? I mean, he doesn't usually get plays like that. Nice to finally see him, like, you know, get a huge play as he has that potential. And they switch us to the wrong guy. Woolen with a hit. Doesn't get out of bounds, does he? Oh, that right foot when he was flailing. Damn, Max cooking up, though. Max kind of making plays. This is a tough game. Patriots giving us a run. Oh, that's great coverage. But, of course, we had to leave the inside because we were pressing him. And maybe a little bit of a tripping from Alexander, but it works out. But also works out for them as they gain the first. I've been coming out with this a lot. But I can't imagine this one's going to be a run. So let's get near the line. Jump the underneath. And Sydney. Good D. Whew. Sydney kind of got lost. Sydney was running end zone, and the play kind of turned around on him a little bit. Let's see in Wosu. He is our best pass rusher still, technically. Nice move, but so did Henter Henry, who is kind of killing us here. And at this point, it is defend the end zone time. We were actually playing pretty uh, aggressively on that drive. It's just they're finding lanes. And Adams? Oh, my. I don't know who they think that guy is, but... They're getting dangerous with him, and Adams almost had himself a pick. Should have had one, to be fair, but it is Adams. And Wosu. Alexander, huge hit over the middle, and I think this is probably going to be a field goal sit. 
made the situation a little weird for them. So 10 seconds left, and they're going to be calling uh, a field goal look, and they will kick it really weirdly. Taking a three-point lead likely into halftime. Let's get, we get, we've got some talent. we got some speed. You never know what kind of situation happens here. Tell you what, I wouldn't be kicking it deep to Caldwell if I'm them. That's that's for a damn sure fact. And I guess they didn't. Ahmed. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Not a bad little return. Really not a huge fan of the stretch play in this uh, playbook. It's like very obvious. There we go. I mean, a little stat padded. Of course, it is Kenneth. And on the run, he probably gives us the best chance to score a long touchdown at that situation, you know, when you're expecting the deep ball. But the Patriots uh, moving the ball down, up and down the field pretty consistently. We've struggled, but bend don't break defense has saved us from giving up a lot of points, and we have taken a couple opportunities and scored. It's a tough battle against a team that, you know, we didn't really expect to be that good coming out. All right, we talked about you know, focusing on running inside. Maybe let's actually get to that this quarter, this half. As Caldwell is going to find a nice lane, runs right into the kicker, but to the 31. Inside handoff, this, uh, you know, pulling guard kind of throws me off. Oh, nice. There we go. About a first down. Blocks have been great. The angles we've taken have been great. This play doesn't look so great. Oh, it's still great, though. Kind of nice move. Gains 11. I don't know if I like this. I really don't. I don't know. Be paying attention. And that's the play I kind of wanted. They played off hard, and a smokescreen kind of route actually led to a 12 yard play. I like that. I mean, there is nobody there. Of course, it's kind of the one guy you don't really want to leave open that much. I actually really like this. I think Fant's open. Fant pre snap was my read, and he. He earned it. He earned it. Miles Jack is just not covering him one-on-one, -on -one, especially when you give him a lead-up. Patterson, end zone. Not going to happen. Metcalf inside. Nice fight. Gains about nine. Inside handoff. The one time they're not really looking at the run is probably the one time you should be looking at the run. And Kenneth, maybe we should have just taken the inside lane, but I took what I knew was going to gain yards, and it had a chance to score. This is tough. This is all about making the read. And we made it. There you go, Patterson. Touchdown number two. It's all about making the read. They were not ready for it no matter what. I mean, it had to be the most athletic edge rusher of all time to make that play. And they just didn't even disguise it. They were like, screw it, we're coming after you. Some would argue a very questionable decision. But whatever gets Patterson two-plus touchdowns in the game, not a bad decision in my book. I'll tell you what. Alexander, so close on so many plays. But... Has given up quite a bit rather than making plays today. He's, I mean, he's been a decent rookie. He really does remind me of year one Devin White, ironically enough. Oh, we had it. Of course. Oh, come on. I was about to say, of course, his teammates got it anyways, but maybe not so much. It's not third and one. Uh, Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I'm going to manually use her digs. And that is inches, I think. Oh, I got to accept that it. it was actually considered a first down. I thought there was a chance it was a first down, but I wasn't 100% sure. Marshall on the inside. Can't get over there. The running back's open. Got to cover that. And right in behind Kalen Barnes. This number six guy has just barely been making plays on us. Of course, weird part is they've been throwing jump balls to the man, and he ain't like that. He ain't built like that. Throw him underneath, and I feel like he's, uh, he's, he's good for you, but they've been throwing, like, jump balls to the man. Good tackle by Marshall, one-on-one -on -one against Hunter Henry, who has been pretty good in those short situations. Burned the hell out of Inwosu for a touchdown earlier. Come on, Davenport. Davenport's definitely going to lose his dev, I'll tell you what. He has not been good. Of course, he is a youngster, but at the same time, you dev up quickly, lose that dev up quickly. Big play to Johnny, expecting a run on first down, as you know, they've kind of set up the run on the early downs and then throwing it. Very accurately on the must. Oh, we're not out there. He threw it late, though. And Warren has a chance. No way he caught that. Warren is him if he caught that. And if he did, I mean, he's still him. But you know what I mean? Of course, Mac Jones getting wild. I know Devontae Parker's played well, but, like, he ain't played that well. Up there and taps him down. Wow. 
I mean, don't get me wrong. This has been our identity for some time. But that bend don't break. That, that takeaway defense has been insane. Of course, Jacobson finally getting involved. Gains about seven. Not, you know, like a finally, like he always gets involved. But a finally, like, I'm, I'm kind of happy to see him get involved. This could be a quick throw to Walker as they're probably expecting a run. There goes a wide open Patterson. Of course, not a whole lot of looks where we've even seen more, but I'd like to see a little bit more action. <laughs> more. And what the hell? Are they just leaving Metcalf open for a touchdown? Maybe not for a touchdown. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, so now here's two things. One, that throw was garbage. I threw it to the outside because that's, you know, where the opening was. Overthrown. But two, Metcalf's got to catch that. Like, what are you doing, pal? And there it goes. Kenneth breaks the ankles, gains 15. I just can't believe we actually struggled against their defense. Though. Like, right now we look great. Double move, Metcalf. Oh, please, Metcalf, Bayless. Oh, my God. Please tell me that's not OPI. Oh, no shot. Bro, they just called offensive pass interference because we get hit as we're throwing Greer still delivers a great ball considering I mean we got I mean we pushed him a little bit but really bro that is some bull what is Metcalf not a, a household name enough for you uh, is that what it is that is bull crap more underneath gonna set up a lot of yards there on the uh really bullcrap penalty 11 that's just not a good call at all <laughs> how many times do you even see opi and that's the one you call oh patterson was so open i'm sick but either way it's fine it's fine sure maybe he could have had a three touchdown game but you know first down underneath is fine too when we choke away this scoring drive uh, it's not gonna feel as fine but it's okay that's for future us to deal with. Oh, Lord. This play. Did somebody just say COVID-19? Is that what Greer just said? Inside for Metcalf. There's no way they can cover him there. There goes Metcalf fighting hard. Maybe they're trying to strip it. I don't know, but to the 12. Greer hasn't been perfect. He's obviously missed a couple of throws really badly, but he's been pretty good outside of that. Perfect is a hard thing to do, okay? Let's just, let's just keep that at that. Play action of first and ten. Who would have thought? And fullback. That's a bad play by us specifically. And, you know, that's that's not really Greer's fault. I don't know if I like this. Thank you, fourth corner. I appreciate you showing up. Look at the stats. A little closer. Of course, looking at the numbers, I mean, they're pretty much dead even. But, obviously, the difference here is uh, the score. Turnovers. Run to the left. I mean, I think we're being a little too conservative here. I'm going to change out of it. Little, a uh, little afraid on that one. We do get, you know, some more yards to set up a third and five. I will say, if we would have waited a second longer, may have had Fant for the score. But we still could have Fant for the score. I don't think they cover him. I think he's just open. I just think he's open. I just don't think Miles Jack can cover him. Huge touchdown could be the dagger. Do we play a little bendy don't breaky? Maybe. Of course, we are kind of pressed up here, so maybe that's not a good example. Oh, do we split? Yeah, I think they switched. Oh, what the hell? What the hell? Oh, wow. Okay, uh, that's apparently not a first down. That's kind of an L in fairness. Let's go with Mwosu off the edge. Second and two. Not giving up on the ground game. And I suppose they get the first, but eh, a little late. A little late, but it's, I mean, first down's a first down. Devontae Parker going against someone new is... I think it's safe to say he's technically lost the matchup. Mac Jones isn't doing him any favors, but you know, I don't care how many catches you get. If you get intercepted twice, since uh, yeah, you've lost. You've, you've lost that matchup. Second and three from the 45. Can't get off the block. And once again, mixing up the run a little bit. Doing well. Oh, great. Now we're in cover two. How much you want to bet they get a big play on this? Every time. Alexander off the edge. Gets blocked by his own guy. They gain about four out of bounds. Doesn't actually do anything here for them, so that clock will continue to run. But so far, hasn't done a whole lot of that. This uh, this sequence inside is pretty open, and we're just caught in no man's land. But so is Mac Jones. Throws it across his body, and a terrible decision that will probably cost them the game. Maybe I should have went more to the middle there, but 
Decent little return to the 44. Of course, his receiver gets pummeled by Marshall as well. So kind of in no man's land, but I suppose we got a hit on him, which they could have called a penalty on. I know there was some pressure from Mafe. Good job, but that's just another ill-advised throw. There's just no chance of that. Of course, that hit. <laughs> a little scary. And just like that, a once upon a time very close game that could have went either way is pretty much been locked up. And a huge run for Kenneth. Is it a stat pad? Who gives a damn? Is it's going to put him damn near close to 100 yards on the day? Tanner coming in. Metcalf looks so open, especially if he ran a fade, but it is what it is. We don't really need a touchdown. We just need to gain some yards, waste the clock, call it a day. And did he fumble? What the hell? I just see the ball just pop out. I'm not a fan of that. No need to be doing that now. Stretch for Kenneth just needs a yard to get to 100. And wow, really bad job by Riggs. who just gets lost. We probably should have just said, hey, screw the block. We're going to just use that speed. But we got the first down, played it safe, and could have had a touchdown if the fullback figured it out. And he does this time, and that's the dagger. Good job on the recovery, Riggs. He's like, okay, I got you. I got you. Really good blocks there, and that will be the game. And I will say 63 is... A little close there. <laughs> Sitting a little too close to Walker on that one for them to be doing motions like that. I think that almost deserves a what happened uh, kind of situation. Oh, wow. I just switched to the wrong guy. Thank God he wasn't streaking. Nice ah, hit by Marshall. Oh, man's been putting some hits on. Just went with a run-heavy formation. That's, that's not bad at all. Sure, they won't use that situation. Oh my god, that was a barreling hit. Let's get Mafe going. Mafe actually had himself a pretty good game today, to be honest. Didn't get any actual set. Well, it's ironic to say that. He's getting locked up in the the double, but it's kind of a point. You know, there's no one open. The one time Mac Jones should be taking shots is the time he's going short. Earlier, he should have been just slowly getting up the field. He's taking shots. I mean, that game... I mean, obviously, it's still an accurate game from Mac Jones, but that... That interception total just kept climbing and climbing and climbing. and It's ultimately what lost them the game. Obviously, their defense hasn't been great, but offense, you know, kind of demoralizing them every single time, turning the ball over right as they're about to score. It doesn't help. Yards-wise, they are ahead of us, but it's kind of what's going to happen when you turn the ball over in the, you know, our side of the field like several times in a game. Screen pass, I did not even see that. Marshall getting out there. Didn't get him, but... I mean, I suppose in the end did. Forced him out. Oh, that's a good press. Behind. It's all right. Oh, we couldn't catch him. And I was about to say, really good play for number two. But once again, that. Now, that one was just not enough, you know, pressure. Obviously, uh, you know, that's what we're kind of doing. You know, letting that clock just drip away. Marshall's pretty good at pressing. And good swap by Brooks. Mafe injured, of course. We do have some depth, but... Still not uh, a guy I'd like to see injured as Ed Money is in the game. <laughs> oh, man. Second and goal. Back of the end zone. Can't see it. To the corner and Sydney with the help of Ed Money. Forcing a third and goal. Could you imagine? Back of the end zone. Picked. Sydney. Really dumb to return that. Oh, they actually gave us the 20. I thought we could have outran him for the touchdown. I know we don't need the touchdown, but if Sydney has a chance at a pick six, I'm going to give Sydney a chance at that pick six. You know what I mean? I actually almost wonder if we ran the ball a little bit better because we had a scenario. I've had that kind of suspicion for a while is whenever you have a scenario, your guy kind of kind of go off a little bit more than normal. I will say that that front is really bad, especially with Uche being injured, but... 35 to 17, obviously not even close to the game that it was for the first like two and a half, three quarters. In that fourth quarter, we just came alive. I would love to see what the actual like kind of scoring trend looked like. They pressured us a little bit more times, but we were holding the ball a little bit more than them. And then obviously, you know, that whole fourth quarter, pretty much, we were playing off and just not really rushing that many players. We also didn't blitz that much. We just didn't need to. You know, their receivers just weren't getting open in general and. You know, why break away from what's working, I suppose? <laughs> One of the fans put me in, I could throw. If this is normal, Mac Jones, that's kind of funny. But, I mean, other than the four interceptions he threw early on, Mac Jones is looking pretty good. Greer, 19 for 25, three touchdowns, zero interceptions, 240 yards. Didn't really require him to make any crazy big-time throws, but he made a couple of decent ones in there, and it was just a tame game that, 
you know, ended up with great statistics. Tanner didn't get many carries, but Walker, 15 for 154 with two touchdowns. Your beautiful stuff. Receiving Fant had a lot of yards. Uh, who else had some yards? Metcalf, of course, Patterson, three for 78 with two touchdowns. Could have had three touchdowns, but we went blind and... I mean, we ended up winning anyways, but still, it would have been lovely to see that. Wolin with two interceptions. Sidney Jones and Adams with one apiece. And pure sack totals, not a whole lot. Math, not EA strong suit, unfortunately, with one and a half sacks somehow uh, going to that. I mean, I guess to be fair, how do they register it? Can can everyone get a half? Surely that's not a possibility, right? Like, if I was sharing, like, a pizza with someone, there was four people yeah, okay, I'm not even... That's, uh, that was way too much math. I'm not even trying that. You get the point. I don't need to continue it, right? I don't need to actually do the math and set up a, a metaphor, right? Of course, Daniel Pierre didn't go up in overall, but man, his run blocking is awful. Although I will say, in general, we run block pretty well. I suppose we run to the left more anyways, so he doesn't really necessarily need to be a great run blocker. At this point, Jamal's pretty good at everything. I think hybrid's the best thing to go for. You know, do a little bit better in man coverage. Maybe get a speed upgrade. Who knows? Or nothing. Nothing of the sort. 95 zone, though. Still pretty nice. And then Trent boost. Is that now? It is now. I'm used to just seeing it the next week. How much XP are we going to get? 150 plus rushing yards is pretty good. Another impressive week on the ground. Led by the guys up front. What can you say about how that unit is gelling together right now? A lot to be excited about with that group because they're all improving each week and even working with the backups, making sure they're ready to step in too. I mean, true, I guess. 150 to 2. So 200 plus would have given us like a nice boost, which, I mean, it was still a nice little boost anyways. Do we not have any upgrades for the O-line? I know it wasn't 10K like we once discussed, but still a pretty good set of numbers. They're all upgradable, and the game's like, well, do you really, do you really care about that? It's like, yeah, I kind of do. I don't know why it says agile blocking is our big problem. I suppose it... I mean, when you add add the balances... I think you just run power, though, because I'm pretty sure that's the best way to get run block upgrades, right? Like, when I think of run game, I think of power blocking. That's either way, it's a pretty good upgrade. It wasn't exactly what we were looking for, but it was nice. Strength's actually pretty low, so we need that big time. Elton Jenkins getting an upgrade. This is not a common sight, so... Gotta make it count, and I think, once again, run blocking he needs the most... Not by much. Should we just go with... Let's just go with agility style blocking or agile blocking. Gets two to run block finesse. Uh, I mean, it's, we need to run block power, I suppose. So maybe we should have just went power. I'm, I'm a little slow sometimes. Okay, relax. Buckley! Run block. So, <laughs> I mean, we run block pretty well considering our ratings. Uh, and that's a really nice upgrade. We take that. It's beautiful. Gets him to 72. And then Banson, who has actually had a very nice, you know, second half to the season, will need a bit of power. So power for everyone, even though he's a tackle. Upgrade doesn't look too promising. One to strength, one to pass block power. I suppose uh, that's what he needed quite a bit. So we'll take it uh that is going to be it for what is it week 14 i believe we just finished nice turnaround on that game as the patriots are looking like they were going to take us right to the final minutes of that game and win it and you know we kind of just said okay the fourth quarter is ours it was the fourth right maybe mid third in fairness yeah fourth quarter mainly but they didn't score a single point in the second half they only scored in one quarter but 17 in the second that's a lot of points but they just did not finish well and we're showing why we're one of the best teams in the league. Of course, Niners also doing the same. Is they're still going to be ahead of the, on the division, it seems, with games against Washington, Detroit, and Tampa Bay coming up. Some, you know, teams that maybe you sleep on a little bit, but they're pretty good. So, can't be too careful, but it looks like we're having ourselves a playoff season, and that's all you could really ask for. If you guys enjoyed, maybe leave a like, subscribe if you're new. If you're not new, really appreciate your continued support a ton. And uh, tomorrow, probably no upload, maybe a second channel upload, and then Saturday, several, I suppose. That's about it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys come back for next video. But until next video, uh, see ya!